Wherever you were in the world, you may have noticed the night sky looking brighter than ever. In Tanzania, the full moon arrived with an orange glow. This was the closest it had been to Earth since 1948, meaning some people had waited a lifetime to see this. This is a spectacular event to me and of course remarkable, you know, I was reading some of the articles, it has never happened for the past 68 years and I am, you know, making a history at least today, looking at something I won't be able to see it for the next 18 years. As darkness fell, the moon lit up the night. It's an hour after sunset here in Tanzania and the moon is rising over the Indian Ocean. When the full moon is closest to Earth, it's called a supermoon because it appears much bigger and brighter than usual. Of course, the effect is mostly an illusion, but one that fascinates astronomers. The word super gives you some guidance that uh, it is somehow big. Because of the orbit, the orbit is not perfectly circular, it is elliptical, so there is a difference in distance over the orbit. If it is far away, you think it is small, and if it's closer to you, you feel it is bigger. While this supermoon could be seen from all over the world, the African continent has some of the best spots in the world for stargazing, because away from big cities, there is very little electric light to dull the view. And Tanzania is particularly well placed. This latitude, we are at uh, near the equator, so anybody who is interested in the sky will be able to see almost 98% of the sky from sunset, just after sunset, to just before sunrise. In particular also, there are many, many areas that are dark sky areas. If you missed it, there is another supermoon next month, but it won't be as impressive. For another this close, you'll need to wait until 2034. Lucy Taylor, CCTV, Tanzania. Well, elsewhere on the continent, people flocked to high-rise buildings, observatories and beaches for the best view of the supermoon. Across the continent, the enthusiasm was palpable. Residents in Cairo stayed up way past bedtime to catch the rare astronomic phenomenon. In the clear night sky, the sheer size of the moon was spectacular. In Cape Town, South Africa, thousands trekked up Lion's Head for a good view of the huge moon, which was reflected in the sea below.